Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some interesting news that you guys would love. So there is a brand new tool that actually hit the market not so long ago from the guys at Exocide. And just in case you're seeing a couple of Z stuff here, it is because uh, they already have a tool known as the Z Scene Manager for ZBrush. And they've gone ahead to also create the software or a tool known as the Quad Remesher. This tool was created earlier by uh, an amazing artist known as Maxime Ruka. And Maxime Ruka is actually the same guy that created the Z Remesher that we have in ZBrush. So he has gone ahead to create this tool so that every other you know 3D package can actually have it. But the cool news today is this tool has actually made it to Blender. And if you go over to the page here, link to this is going to be in the description. You'll find out that Blender has now been added to the list of you know plugins that is now available for this software. So you can also see that Houdini and Cinema 4D are on their way. 3D Studio Max Maya and Modo has also been added to this. And of course, if you go all the way down here, you'll see a couple of things. So first things first, I'm going to just simply go over here and pop up Blender. So I have Blender directly here and I'm just going to, you know, open up Suzanne the Monkey, which I have here, go through to where we have our modifiers, add up a couple of modifiers just to simulate the idea that we have this thing sculpted and it is dense. So I'm just going to rank this up to about four and you can literally see from here that we have something really really heavy so if i come through and tap z and switch over to wireframe you can see how heavy you know this is this is something you don't want to you know get into your game engine you don't want to animate this because you know of course it's going to be really really hard to actually calculate a simple movement so what you can do is you can go over download this software and you can use it and for you to be able to download this you need to come over here click on download trial enter your email and they're going to send you a link which you can use to download this so the the link is going to be sent to your email and you can actually use the trial version for 30 days actually once you get this thing active and you apply for the trial they're going to tell you that you can use the trial for 30 days and that will happen the minute you try to use the software for the very first time so with this happening here what we can do now is to pop up back into blender and then directly from here we can see that we have this loaded up here. And for the guys that will be wondering how you can load things up, you can definitely load things up by coming over to your Blender preference, which you can find from here. Go over to Blender preference, you'll be able to load up uh, your stuff and just simply hit on the word install. Install the zip file and not the Python file, all right? Okay, so with that done, you need to come over here and you need to set the number of you know quad counts that you want similar to what you can do in zbrush if you actually want things to happen with symmetry you need to turn that on here and if you want to make use of materials to kind of control the loops the same way you work with zbrush you can do all of those things here so we're going to simply go through and calculate a couple of things like right now i have this and i think a good measure for this is for us to come over here and create a new one so with this new one created so we can see the you know the before and the after I'm going to come over here and set this to about 2500 and simply hit on this button called remesh it. So with remesh it hit and you know ready to go, you would notice that directly from here we can see the progress going through. So the progress is just going to go all the way from 0 to 100 and once it gets to 100 you will be able to see what the quad remesher can do. So with that done you can see we have something like this. Pretty cool I can say. And yeah, this is definitely going to ease the way you work as an artist, especially the guys that are sculpting, you know, the guys that are doing heavy sculptings and you want to remesh things. Of course, we've seen the voxel, you know, remesher come into Blender 2.81, but I think with this coming over to Blender, it is going to make a whole lot of sense. And if you want to get this too, if you want to get this too, or uh, let's say you want to pay for it, there is a kind of price tag to this. But right now, I would suggest you go through, you know, get this, play with it, use it for as much as you want for 30 days. If you like the tool, support the artist, purchase it. And yeah, this is about it. I would like to know what you guys think about this tool coming over to Blender. I really, really wanted it to come over and the minute it dropped, I decided to share it with you guys. This tool does not just work for organic objects alone, but as well, it works for hard surfaces 
and i think you guys will really really love it tell me what you think about this in the comment section if you like this tool you like the software you know go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on the notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video the next upload and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace